Hi, welcome back to Missing Chemistry. This is Charles Gas Law lesson number two. Okay, here are pressure unit conversions flow. One atmosphere equals 760 millimeters of mercury, which equals 764, which equals 101.325 kilopascals, which equals 101,325 pascals, 1.013 bar, and 14.7 pounds per square inch. Wow. Okay, STP is at zero degrees Celsius and one ATM. One millimeter mercury equals one torr. Okay, remember that Kelvin is C plus 273.5. Charles Gas Law is V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, but the easiest way to do it is V1 T2 equals V2 T1 by rearranging the variables. And remember that the pressure is the constant variable in Charles Law. All right, so here we go. We have a 600 milliliter of air is at 30 degrees Celsius. So there's our first volume. So usually it's better just to kind of start off trying to figure out what is what. Our temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Of course, that's not going to stand because we're at the term of Kelvin. And we're looking for the new volume at 90 degrees Celsius. So the first thing I want to do is convert my Celsius. So I say K equals C plus 273. 0.15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go T1 equals 30 plus 273.15. So T1 has to equal 303.15. Okay. All right. So now for our second one, we have uh, our T2 value is going to be 90 plus 273.15. So our new T1 two value is going to be, let's get the calculator there. All right, it's going to be 90 plus, two, oops, 90 plus 273.15, which is equal to 363.15. So we get this to be 363.15. Okay, now we're ready to solve the problem. So we isolate from V2, so V2 equals V1 T2 over T1. So V2 equals, of course, 600.0 milliliters, right? Times our T2, which is 363.15. Point one five, of course, K divided by our T1 value, which was 303.15 K. Our Ks cancel out, of course, and our new volume is going to be, let's see, let's do the math, 600 times 363.15 equals divided by 303.15 and that gives me 718 milliliters. Okay, and 0.75 of course. 718.75 milliliters. Excellent. All right, let's look at our second problem. A 300 milliliter of helium at 4,000 Kelvin then cooled to 3K. What's its new volume? All right. So our first volume is 300 milliliters. Our first temperature was 4,000 Kelvin. Notice that we don't say degrees because there's no degree mark with the Kelvin. We're looking for the second volume and we know the new temperature. All right, so let's go ahead and isolate from V2 because we're ready to work this problem. V2 equals V1 T2 over T1. So V2 equals 300 milliliters times 3K divided by 4,000. K, wow. Ks cancel out. So our new volume is going to be significantly smaller, it looks like. So it's going to be 300 times 3 divided by 4,000 equals 0 0.225 degrees. All right, so 
this is going to be equal to 0 0.225 milliliters. Well, that's it for this lesson, guys. You be snarly, and we'll see you back here at Moosey Chemistry.